those of you who didn't hear me before, a very warm welcome to you. This is uh, obviously the Digital Leaders Roundtable. It's great to have so many distinguished people here with us today. We've got a great agenda uh, planned for you today. I'm delighted that we have um, uh, PEGA supporting this particular event. Obviously, we couldn't do we couldn't do any of these events without uh, the support of somebody. Uh, we've made sure that Ellen Forums is a free to access platform for the London market. Um, through that period, I also had the pleasure of being around tables when people were talking about the challenges. So we saw at the last financial crisis, we saw the rise of the challenges, the Revoluts, the Monzos, the Starlings. People forget about people like Metro and Atom Bank, though. Um, and I sat around tables and people said, don't worry, they'll never get customers. Don't worry, they'll never get licenses. Don't worry, they'll never make any money. And they did all of that. And I think what we will see out of this particular intervention, and it is horrific, nobody would ever want the COVID intervention. But what I do think we will see is disruption in our industry, particularly insurance and also asset management. You know, I think we all like to talk about this idea of putting the customer front and center. I think really focusing on how you use data decision technology, how you use automation technology to connect a customer or a partner to an outcome faster is, is, is a, I think, a great way of centering some of these transformation efforts and ensuring that you know we remain competitive, we remain uh, in a good position, even as new entrants and others come into the market. Christian, would you like to just sort of share a few sort of high level points from your room yeah happy to um so for the next 30 minutes uh, yeah. <laughs> I um, know, a lot there. We, we could have gone on all day with those sorts of questions but anyway never mind exactly yeah um no i think we had a really we had a really good chat uh, we talked a bit about the the, the nature of what's going to be the the asym i like you know it's the asymmetric engagement um as we start returning right there are going to be people who return there are going to be people who work from home and, and how we culturally you know address that uh, is going to be important you know it, it's it's going to be necessary that we are as it's as easy to engage with one each, with one another whether or not you know we're, we're sitting in our living rooms or we've gone into the office and I think that's going to be a challenge uh, to, to cross as well in our room um, one of the interesting observations was that uh, whilst we have made strides in digital transformation in the last 12 months, the concern was that maybe some of it is a little bit superficial. So it does look like, you know, if you look at, for instance, some of the statistics in the market, even around, you know, with our good friends from the PPL, that, you know, obviously people are using the platform. There's no doubt about that. The question was, are people actually using it to their real advantage? Are they actually using it in a joined up way in terms of the data? The, the data flow within their own organizations? Are they getting value from it? Or is it someone just actually entering data into another system? So to me, thinking about those three things, what's happening in the organization, what's happening to the organization, and what's happening through the organization and our ecosystem are three different conversations. And I think we think about digital transformation differently in each of those three. And I would encourage you to think about that. When you get asked about digital transformation, ask in your head, which of those three am I being asked about? What's this conversation I'm in right now? Is it about dig digitizing and the digital technology of being in the organization? Is it what's happening to the community? Or is it ha the conversation about where are we going as an organization and as a community? And I find that to be helpful to me when I get into these conversations. For better or worse, the COVID pandemic has knocked loose some sand from the gears of our enterprises, right? It's forced us to address some things like agile. It's forced us to change some things about how we work that we probably all knew we had to do anyway, but we kind of haven't had a choice to do it. And I think the opportunity for organizations that I hear, you know, both you know, inside the London market, but again, all of the enterprises we talk to is how do they take the, 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 the opportunities that have developed? Thank you so much, uh, everybody, for your participation today. It's been really great. Thanks to Pega for supporting it, and thanks to, to everybody who's contributed to the discussion.